Man, get up here in the Zoloft to get your head right. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Zoloft. Get your mental hazmat suits on, y'all, because some serious race baiting dookie sling is about to go turbo. Like Joe Biden saying this. You see it. We got Jim Crow sneaking back in. No, I mean it. Man, you don't even need to be talking about sneaking up on somebody with your creep behind. Count Snippula. Now I'll remind y'all again, as I've done for about 13 years now, that the Jim Crow laws were authored by the Democrats in the first place. The ones who fought to keep blacks in chains were Democrats in the first place. The one who created the Jim Crow minstrel that the Democrats named the Jim Crow laws after in the first place was Thomas Dartmouth Rice, a Democrat. And Democrats are the ones determined to keep people in brain chains today. And they found a new way to use that branding iron to show ownership over you. They burn it into your brain that Republicans are racist. And boom, just like that, you're ready to put Democrat chains on your brain yourself. Oh, what? Republicans are racist? Man, give me them chains. ka -ching. Yeah, so can you ain't getting me. The brain branding is so deep that even after you present a mountain of evidence to make a clear-cut case against the Democrats that would even impress Perry Mason, their response is often this. Whatever, both parties are racist and corrupt and they don't care about black people. Oftentimes with too many of them, their denial won't allow them to admit that it's been the Democrats who have been corrupt. So they have to save some sort of image of intellectual integrity. They have to criticize both sides now so they don't look like fools. You know, because the key to looking really smart is to be critical of everything. Oh, Star Wars? Oh my God, yeah, it sucks. Right? Avengers? I'm so over it. Air? Air sucks, dude, and you suck for breathing. And of course, y'all, I believe there are certain people who are genuinely not impressed with certain things. But you know that there are people who scoff at stuff in an attempt to make themselves look cool. But anyway, like I was saying, y'all, people try to lump both parties together to make it look like they're both so evil. Even though there is nothing that the Republican Party has ever done that even comes close to the evils of the Democrat Party. Nothing. But yet, somehow, Republicans are just as evil. And what is it that makes Republicans supposedly just as evil? One of those things is this prevailing notion that Republicans don't care about black folks. And if you got a halfway decent memory, you know that we're going to be hearing a whole lot of that leading up to the election. You know the routine, or at least by now you ought to. Now, even though they direct this comment at Republicans, they really feel this way about white people in general. But white Democrats have this treatment called Panderol, and it makes them immune. It's a suppository, by the way. But we hear this all the time. They don't care about black people. Now, where does this assertion come from? I'll tell you where it comes from. It comes from insecurity. And the black folks that you will hear saying this the most are the ones who are the most insecure about being black. Oh, no, he didn't. Ooh, yes, I did. Only insecure black folks go around saying they don't care about black folks. Man, what do you need so much care for? Are you handicapped? Are you mentally challenged? Are you in some sort of special category of fragile people or something? What is all this care that you need? And why, why, why do you want the care of people you curse as racist? You don't even want to see these people as caring. You prefer to see these people as racist. It makes you feel all woke and down with the struggle to see them as racist. Because true blackness is about being a victim, not a victor. If you say we have overcome, you'll be cursed as a sellout. You have to keep the mindset that we have yet to overcome. And that we still got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. When the white man gets me weary, oh, oh, in the days of dark and dreary. But these liberal-minded blacks act like their lives won't be complete until white folks show them this unattainable amount of care. You have to care about us. Dang, y'all, really? That's a little codependent, ain't it? You claim to hate white supremacy, yet you act like your life can't improve until mighty whitey comes and cares about you. You put white people in a position of supremacy yourselves. How about you do something for black folks instead of waiting for white people to come and do it? They say we try, but white people come in and destroy what we've been trying to build up. Yeah, y'all, I know. I agree with you. The problem is that you keep voting them into power to come and do it to you. They're called Democrats. They are the overseers that you keep giving power to to screw your communities. And it's easy for the Democrat white devils to come and do it. 
all they got to do is falsely accuse Republicans of being racist, and you'll vote for them faster than Alyssa Milano to say something stupid on Twitter. Democrats easily pander to you and play on your insecurities about being black. But it begins with you allowing yourself to think that you're some special kind of cripple and that you think so lowly of yourself and other blacks that you can't accomplish anything in your inadequacy without the care of white folks. It causes you to be unjustly bitter and prejudiced against white people and a liability to yourselves. But as the saying goes, it's easier to hoodwink folks than to convince them they've been hoodwinked. It's a suppository life.